Hey YouTube, it's Sean Jackson here. I just wanted to hop on and give you guys another video. Just kind of talk about, um, you know, where I'm at today and how I got here. There's a fact that I was reading. I do a lot of research on YouTube and, and, and books and audio books. There was a thing on the New York Times that said 65% of Americans cannot afford a $1,000 emergency fund. And I just like, it just blew my mind. So that used to be me, you know, living paycheck to paycheck, couldn't pay for nothing. Every Friday I get paid by Monday I was broke and it would just happen and happen and happen. And then once I started like, you know, really getting heavy into investing and learning, you know, financial education and learning how credit works, it like took my mind over, you know, I started obsessing about it. So I started doing it. So one of my, you know, last video I was showing you guys where I lived in my grandmother's basement and I started working and just putting every dollar I could away, putting it away, putting it away, putting it away. And I was putting it in a bank account at the time, which uh, a lot of people know when you put your money in a bank account or savings account, you're actually losing money. And the reason for that is, you know, inflation. So a bank account might give you 0.6% interest, but every year inflation is going up by 2 or 3%. Meaning if I gave you $100 and you put it under your mattress, Next year, that $100 can no longer buy what that $100 could buy today. That $100 would really be worth $98. So it loses value if, you, if, you, if you're with me. So I started learning the concept of investing in stocks and stuff like that. And it caught my attention. So I started, you know, YouTube and how stocks work, reading about it. And I started investing in Robinhood in, in 2018. The first stock I bought was actually CarMax. It was $35. <clears throat> I bought it, you know, I bought a couple other stocks and then every week I would just throw money into it, throw money into it, different stocks, you know, Apple, CarMax, Starbucks, uh, AMD Media, and then there was a company called Plug Power, I bought that when it's, you know, three years ago, it was cheap, so, you know, months and months went by and I, I started making, you know, a couple grand, a couple thousand dollars and I started saving and saving and saving. So eventually my portfolio got up to about nine, about, um, almost nine grand. It was like $8,000. So a year later, me and my kids and my fiance, we moved out of my grandmother's basement and I got my first apartment. I wanted to buy a house. I, I applied for a mortgage, but I got denied because of my credit. So you know what? I said, look, I'm just going to get an apartment because this basement is too small for me, my fiance and my three kids. And we had a dog at the time. So I got denied for a mortgage. So I went and got a two bedroom apartment. I was paying $1,100 a month. I stayed there for one year. That was my goal. I wanted to stay there for one year and then try to buy a house. And by God's grace, that's exactly what happened. My lease ended July 24th. I signed on my house on the contract July 23rd. By some miracle, that's just how it worked. So a year, a, a year before the day, is when I got the keys to my first home. I'm actually in my first home. So if you watch till the end, I'm going to show you my house. So I just bought this house about a month ago. And uh, I just wanted to get on here and tell you, you know, the process. And I just started investing, investing, investing. I opened up a Roth IRA. So I put, you know, it's not much. I put $20 a month into there and just let it build because I also have an annuity at work. So really, I put most of my money in crypto and Robinhood because I want access to it if I ever need it. You know, my Roth IRA, I can't touch till I'm 59. So I don't dump as much in there right now because I just feel more comfortable if I ever had the, needed the money or, or needed the access to it, I could. So that's what I did. I actually, uh, I don't remember if every you guys remember hearing about the whole GameStop boom when everybody was making a bunch of money on GameStop. Well, a friend of mine at work, shout out to Andrew Graham. He gave me a little tip about GameStop. He said, you need to buy it. It's about to go up. So on my lunch break, I put $1,200 on GameStop, bought a couple shares. I woke up two days later. My account on GameStop went from $1,200 to $5,800, and I sold it, and I pulled it out. I bought my uh, fiance's engagement ring with that, with that money. So then when I bought this house, I had money in Ethereum, Bitcoin, and a coin called AmpCoin. I made $11,000 in profit, and my lease was ending on my apartment, so me and my fiance decided to reapply and try for a mortgage. 
And at this time, you know, while I was at my apartment, I got three credit cards. I started paying my credit card bills, started building my credit up. When I started, my credit was a 498. It was horrible. I started building my credit up and it got to a, I think a 660. I applied for a mortgage and we got approved. I got approved for 225,000. And then I bought this house. It was uh, 205,000. I got a 3.2 interest rate. So my mortgage is 1168 a month. So through all that process, I learned about, you know, credit, how to, how to build my credit, how to, you know, get my money to work for me. And I no longer keep a bunch of money in a savings account. I don't invest all of it. Like if I need it for something in the near future, obviously I'm not going to invest it in case I need it in the markets down. And I always try to keep a thousand dollar emergency fund because like I told you in the beginning of that video, that fact blew my mind that 60% of Americans cannot pull $1,000 out of an account without going into debt. So long story short, that's just a short video. I'm going to start making more videos of more in depth of how I invest and in credit and stuff like that. But I wanted to tell you guys that. And uh, now I'm going to give you a, uh, a little glimpse of, you know, my house. This is my bedroom, you know, the master bedroom right here. It's the master bedroom. Then you come into the bathroom. You know, you got the master bathroom, the shower. Then it goes into a his and her sink. So it's like the his and her sink kind of deal. So it's a three bedroom house. So I got my kids room right here. It's my daughter's room. We painted. This is my son's room right here. And then here's the, we go down into the living room. We go down into the living room. This is the living room. Here's my, my three kids, my dog. So I came from all this in the last three years of knowing nothing about money. I was getting no money. I had no money. And then in the last three years, I made all this happen. We put all brand new floors in. This was all carpet. My kitchen, this is my kitchen. I got a little back deck and stuff, a yard, I bought a grill. Yup, my kitchen. And then this is my basement. This is the basement. So it's a pretty decent sized basement too. So I got laundry room. I used to have to go to the laundry mat all the time because I never had a laundry room. So here's my laundry room. My basement, pretty decent basement. And then we have a full size bathroom down here. You know, full size bath down here. So that's it. That's my house. I just bought it a month ago. So I think we came a long way. And that just goes to show, you know, by learning about finances and, you know, how to how your money works and getting money to work for you, how that can happen. Because like I told you, the down payment on this house was the $11,000 that I made off of stocks. And if I would have had my money in a savings account, I would have probably never had enough money for a down payment on this house. So I just wanted to, you know, give you a little run through of how everything worked. I'm going to get back on here and make some more videos in, in depth about how I invest in crypto and stuff. I appreciate y'all watching till the end. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you.